Oh yeah! It's time for friggin' ghost trick. That's right, ghost trick, the trick of ghosts. As it were. Yeah, well, go get, go lurk. Hell yeah. I'm here with Travis tonight. I'm gonna just play some ghost trick. Undeafening. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 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 one. Ghost trick! Ghost trick. Keep you on your toes. You never know when I'm gonna friggin' undeafen! So true, even. Well. Well. <laughs> so true, Bemsty. So Troomst, Bemsty. So Troomst. <laughs> <laughs> Troomst. You had me beat there, I gotta admit. I was like trying to make it, I was trying to make Bemsty work, but Troomst is, is so much better. Trap, thanks for resubscribing for tier one for 23 months streak on a 38 months. Can you believe that? 38 months? It's really been three years, huh? You've really given me like, oh my God, you've given me uh, 150 $180? plus, uh, 1868, no, that's not right. $180, I think, right? $180? Like, no, uh, $170, I think, for 38 months. 38, 38 times 5? Yeah, wait, no, pause. It's uh, 190. Four, yeah, 190, there we go. Yeah, yeah cause it's, uh, 38, so it's 30 times 5, which is, uh, 30 times 5 is... <laughs> It's 190, yeah, it's 190. 30 times 5 is 150, plus 8, which is 40. Uh, 8 times 5, which is 40. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We're so back. Okay, I can do math. Let's play we more... So let's play more Golm's trick. That's right. This is the Mario Fireball sound effect. Almost, yeah, almost. All right, let's go to the manual save. The manual save. Trick time. What That's, were we doing? What were we doing? We saved Lynn again. She's much on chicken. Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. How did the detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, I have lots of questions for that lady detective. Steak? But they serve chicken here, Sissel. Steak! Red-headed target. We got lots of the little lady. We got the valiant pet. We've got this dude who's not relevant yet. Yet. Odd blue doctor. Detective sure with the cat. Do. The guardian of the park. Read the commissioners. Is this the commissioner? No, no, no. Commissioners for the right, to the right. Oh, the pigeon man. <laughs> Jovial tenor. Typical cop. Yeah. Navy blue square. His name is Bailey. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Rock Jailbird, a rock and roller who's saying that, yeah. Curry loving Jailbird. This guy scares me. This dude's like a sleep paralysis nightmare. You know what this guy, you know what it is? If you took yeah. a PNG of his render and you made it into like an analog horror-esque, like high contrast, make the eyes a little bigger than average, this guy would fucking freak you out. I feel like... Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely something that could be out of this render. Like he's just so shaped, but also he looks like a chicken, like a like a chicken drumstick, doesn't he? Like silhouette wise. Silhouette wise, yeah, I can see it. But like, like he's got, like he's got I hate how his head's all floppy. Down. Yeah, I don't know why this is the one thing in this game that has jiggle physics. Yeah, it's it, like the wiggly wobbly woobly woo. It's like his skull is made of rubber. Yeah. Like, there's nothing going on in that head, despite it being so big. Yeah, I wonder if Detective Jowd will be an important character. Itchy Man. Why is he called Itchy Man? Because he scratches Ew. himself. Ew. Cute chicken carrier. Her name is... Did Torin play her? I, 
no one played anybody in my um, playthrough. Actually. Oh no. No, it was just me. Oh, oh damn. That would have been fun yeah. to do. I know, right? And that, that's why we're doing it now, you know? Yeah, you're real. You're real. Black-hearted blue man. Black-hearted blue woman. Fastidious glass polisher. Where's the foreman? Where's the where's the commissioner? Right there. Itchy man. Itchy man. That's Wiggle his itchy toes. He's the come itchiner. Yeah. I didn't like that. <laughs> uh, come itch in her. Uh, you, that's worse. <laughs> yep. Sure is. Your Honor, I didn't like that. Your Honor, please strike that one from the record. It made my soul kind of shrivel up and die. Her name is Memory. Like, come on. Who names their child Memory? Let's, let's. I want to. Shu Takami. I want to. Like... I want to talk to Shu Takami's like, uh, naming, like his parents. Like, why did they name her Memory? Maybe it's a code name for something. She is an undercover detective, after all. Okay. Why is his name Jowd? I guess his parents didn't like him very much. Yeah, you're right. Cabanella better be this guy's last name. What Cabin if his... Yeah. What, what, yeah. what if his... Cabanella was his first name, and his last name was like Fitzpatrick or something? Cabanella Fitzpatrick is such a name, actually. I like that. <laughs> Not for the reasons that like are conventional, but like I just like it. It just you know it just has that rhythm to it. Cabanella Fitzgerald on the scene. Fitz relieve Fitzroy. Fitz I, I like the Fitz adding to it. It's like, hey baby, uh, ba -ba -boo, uh, hoo -hoo -you. you know? Fitzpatrick. I did not Cabanella do vocal warm-ups and I also woke up at like 625 today, so I'm yeah. crawling to the finish line tonight. <laughs> I mean, we also don't have to go for as long as usual. You know? No, we have to. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Where do I even go? Where are we going? I think we have to go talk to Lynn, question mark? No, I want to... No, I'm wrong ghost. buttons. I don't know my buttons. It's uh, every, every week I'm away and like, you know... I just talked with Lynn though. Hold on, is there like a plot summary? Try LT. And then phone book. Oh, these are locations. Yeah. I don't know. I guess just hop around the phone. Yeah. See if there's anything interesting. I like this music. Good. This is very goofy music. Fuck, wrong button. <laughs> I gotta stream for at least two hours and a half hours every night. Every night? Every night I stream, baby. Travis, do you wear glasses? Yes, I do, actually. What I kind got of glasses recently. do you wear? Uh, I know there's a term for the ones that I wear, but I forget what it's called. It's like Bremertons or something like that. Hmm. They're like the very typical, like, kind of thick black upper frame with like the little studs in the corners and then like no frame on the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's like a technical name for the style, but like I don't remember what, exactly what it is, but it's like Bremertons or something like that. Yeah, I get you. Looking troubled, the chief is wiggling his itchy toes. Stop talking about his toes. Are you him? Uh, no, you were him. Oh, yeah. Uh, the chief here. Looks like I won't be able to get home tonight. You go ahead and get some sleep without me. Yeah, I love you too, honey. She is so divorcing his ass. Hmm, I guess he was radioing his wife. If he called her on the phone, I could have gone and see what she looked like. <laughs> Why are you so interested, Cecil? <laughs> oh, Cecil, you silly... Gabanella. All right. Alarm. Speaker. Screen. Show me the news. Show me the time I died. Hey, pussy. What the fuck did you just call me? Shit. <laughs> Penis. How dare you say that word yeah, in front of see me? See if I care. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to settle this the hard way. What are you going to do? Shoot me? Sayonara, motherfucker. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Fuck. No. 
Oh no! Sayonara. Fuck. He didn't oh no, it. he died. Again. Why did you flop like that? Lynn, why did you drop the gun? That does have your fingerprints right on it, Lynn. Lynn, you're not exactly what I call the sharpest tool in the shed. You're not the brightest bulb in the case, you know what I'm saying? Somebody. You're not like the sweetest candy in the case, you know what I'm saying? You're a little, maybe, uh... Uh, maybe the guard room? I'm pretty sure Lynn told us to go back there and help Yeah, with, okay, uh, let's let's go back to the Jow's, guard room. Jowd's execution, question mark? Jowd's execution. Jowd's execution. Jowd Talibu. What do you think of my quirky behavior? Surprised? You seem bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. You can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Are you dead? Dead? Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd surprise you, but you surprised me! You're good. Oh, you're good. <sighs> no, nope, wrong button. I can't even reach! Try transferring into uh, the inner walls. Nope. We are so over. No, 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 using the phone line. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Internal extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Lower row. I always forget about that. And by always, I mean, I've only been able to do it once, you know? I mean, you I mean, you only really think about this game once a week. So. Yep, you're so right. Even time is like a caged animal here. Nothing seems to have changed since I last visited last. Spikey is still making that horrible noise. The bearded painter is still attacking his meal with gusto. And the curry lover is stuck. My time will soon be locked away from me as well. I can't waste what I have left. I'd better get going. You heard the man, Travis! No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Oh my god. What do you mean, back, 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 back? No, you have to go... Wait, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. I don't know what we're doing either. Did we go see if we can interact with Jowd at all? Oh, bring the toilet. Napkin. What happens if I open that? Yes. Yes. Bunk. Ooh, what? The blackboard is empty, right? Yeah, that must be it. Oh, for sure, Cecil, for sure. Let's examine the newspaper article. The newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about man murders wife. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. Ah! Sorry. Are you good? I yawned, but I didn't want to yawn, so I screamed instead. Bro. Been up for, uh... 15 hours, I think? Oh my god. I'm taking out my contacts <laughs> as we speak. I'll help him, I'll help. Travis, All you right. wear contacts? Uh, no, actually, I don't. I just got my glasses this past year, and I have been pretty satisfied with uh, wearing glasses. Yeah, I like seeing too. I enjoy seeing, especially at night when I can't really see. Yeah, I enjoy it when like my stigmatism isn't like so bad. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me. Well, Would you like me to look up a walkthrough to tell you what to do? Yeah, if you don't mind, just tell me like where I need to go next. Chapter seven. I think. Walkthrough. I'll go back to Chicken Kitchen just because like you never know. I think I need to go to the, talk to Memory, and Memory is like, or at least, I think she's in the kitchen itself. Let's see, we got through the part where we sa solved, the, where we saved the murder scene. Okay. 
chapter. You talked to Lynn? I have talked to Lynn. Who hasn't talked to Lynn? Just as before, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. This is still chapter 7, correct? Yep. I think, yeah, maybe try talking to Lynn. Because we just saved Mr. Detective, I think, right? We'll see. La la la, the lovely maiden Emery, goddess of chicken. What's with the song, chef? I don't know why myself, but... Tonight, I feel like singing to you as much as you like until you've had your fill. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're going to be going to sing about me being a goddess, I guess I don't mind. That's all it takes, huh? Yeah, I think maybe just go and try talking to Lynn. Okay, I'll go try and talk to Lynn. Dog chicken, kitchen. Dog chicken kitchen! Oh, brother. Okay. Here we go. Let's ring it three times. Memory! I was almost too slow. Almost. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No, thanks. Just watching Lin eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I feel like I've seen this dialogue before. I think so, too, but we'll, we might as well just proc it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us through it? No, stay right there. Huh? I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk it life over chicken, you know. He's right. Sheesh. Anyway, I better Oops. move now while I have the chance. Maybe we just, like, saved at an awkward point and then we, uh, huh. didn't get to yeah. save or save past this dialogue? I don't know. That's funny. Yeah, we, we have seen this. Yeah. Well, then I, could, I guess we could just blaze through this. Yeah. I've had that. Me too. Me too. Yes, we have seen this. Yes, we have seen this. So I guess we just had to proc this again. Yep. Huh. Weird. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Nah, you have to talk to Lynn. You have to talk to Lynn. So how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great. But you know, it's Detective Ringe, that's, that's his name by the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh, brother. He's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's gonna give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you. You were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So, for people who are unconscious, when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay, I, 1-1, one, one, leave Ringe to you then. But I've still- so you say like that? Steve 1-1 one, one got one ots of questions for you. Like, the L's all look like ones. I know they look like ones, but Cecil, what are you doing? I Just... can't read. Yeah, I thought you would. Yeah, I know you can't. Well, let's get started then. Yeah, that's right. right. We stopped right. here. Because I was uh, like, oh, no. That's Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What is your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jowd? He seems more like more than just a co-worker. Yeah, I suppose you have the right to know. 
Detective Jown is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore? Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. Happened ten years ago. Was I Jowd? I was Jowd. You right? were Jowd. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Oh, uh, this is this is you. Just any character. Any, I think anything works. Here. Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park, and then suddenly. Somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. Can I get a little more levels on you? Oh, sure. Is that... Do you want me to turn there it you up? Go. Or You're like... good. You're okay. good there. Okay. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. Actually, I need it down a little bit if you're going to be that close to the mic. Okay. You're right here? Yep. Okay. I'm going to sit right here. Yep. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. Like Miles Edgeworth. When I came to, it was DL6 all over again. You're alright now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me? Mister? I was just doing my job. This is ghost trick, Sheeb. The gods. They're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. An ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. Uh. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. You don't uh. forget, Sissel, she can read your thoughts. Detective Fringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He said an important deal is, to set, is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. That's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up now. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party they're waiting for me? Kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of the deal, except for one person. <laughs> wow, the drum roll. Mr. I Breezy Dancer in a white suit. Oh, they say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. Really wish we had indicators. Yeah. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella. Apparently you're a real favorite of his. Favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jowd were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. Well, made this Lynn. Yeah. That's probably me, yeah. They're two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. OMG Gumshoe! Oh my god, it's Gumshoe! Gumshoe with beard! Gumshoe beard. Beard shoe. Now we just need a Cabanella S character in Ace Attorney. Oh, Ace Bobby Attorney Fulbright. Ah, oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> Detective Jow was always very particular about thorough investigation of the crime scene. And Cabanella wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> And Inspector Cavanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two lead the detective division in those days, led the detective division in those days. But Inspector Cavanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? 
Ever since the Detective Jout incident. Uh-oh. Now he distances himself from field work. And he's starting to focus on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. And so that's how he became a... He became head of the special investigation unit. Take. Anyway, Inspector Cavanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend saved, huh? He really looked out for me. Helping me study for my detective's exam. Fudging my exam scores for me. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Come on, come on, Cecil. Don't you lie to get what you want? I don't ever lie. Uh-huh. Inspector Cavanella, eh? I wonder what his what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. Camilla! It sure has taken Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that's about sums it up. That just about sums it up. Doesn't look like you being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more our girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camilla stays safe, no matter what. Camilla, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box. That box was a present from Detective Jowd. Gumshoe with the salary. Made nuggies. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm hungry. <laughs> from Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. Five years ago! Drink, everyone. It. It's the fucking every, Shu Takumi special. Every single Shu Takumi game has to have an incident that happened five plus years ago, and then they have to recall back to it every, like, three seconds. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled... I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm. That's a shame. Cecil, I... You what? You what? Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from out of the blue? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. Drink water! Thank you. Oh no, I'm out of water. Uh oh! What are you gonna do about that? Chat, uh, what's he uh, gotta uh, do about that? I'll go get some more water. Go get some more water. I'll be right back. Burb. In the meantime, Carry chat. On without me. Yeah, I'll I'll read every character. That'll be great. Starting with. <laughs> that was the end of the scene. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That was great. And this next character is also going. Mm. Mods kill him. Jokes on you. He is a mod. Uh, uh, uh. Chat. Pick a number between one and ten. That thirty-three is not between one and ten. Wrong type of hero. In fact. 33, 3, okay, 3, okay, my question for E, okay, I did not specify it had to be an integer, good, good for you, Snake, 2.718282, yeah, uh, okay, my question for number 3 is, when was the last time you saw a movie in the theater, and what movie was it? I I want to go see some of these like best picture movies, but like I'm also kind of lazy. And I I don't want to like go somewhere and pay twenty dollars and sit down and watch a movie. Like I want to watch a movie. I I understand the value of watching a movie on the big dark screen and the big bright screen, and you know what I mean. Like in in a 
thing, but like it's my local movie theater is like a good twenty minute drive, and I'm like, uh, uh, mm. Oppenheimer, good taste snake. What'd you think of it? Before COVID, Sonic the Hedgehog was my birthday. Went with my ex. She's a drug dealer now, and my two best friends. We were long because of COVID. Hell yeah, I haven't seen the Sonic movie. I'm just like not really interested in watching the video game adaptation movies I'm because I'm like I could just play the game you know like I don't need a yeah. movie of a video game in the same way that I don't know maybe that's just me what are we talking about video movies I asked chat what the last movie they saw in the theaters was mm -hmm. there were a lot of parts where he takes off his shoes for some reason like multiple uh oh <laughs> Oh, not good. In fact, that's bad. Like, I dare are say. We, are we talking like Quentin Tarantino levels of putting feet on the camera? Dude, I, or... have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? No. <laughs> There's a scene early in the movie where the where Brad Pitt's character picks up a girl off the side of the road in Hollywood, and she immediately takes her bare feet and just presses them up against the windshield and they oh, just like yes, it I've smudges and it like crinkles and it's like for fuck's sake Tarantino Jesus Christ dude oh my god could you get any more just like fan servicing yourself here yeah can you can you not put your kink on display for yeah. everyone to see can you not yeah, no, that's like can you not subject unwilling participants to your foot fetish? Uh-oh, wait, that's... Oh, not, let's not continue that thought. I don't want to talk about it right now. Yeah, I know. Um, Read the line. I've only... When someone pointed that out on Twitter, I was like, huh, that's interesting. And it was just a gif of that girl pressing her feet against the fucking windshield. It's like, oh, no. I'm like, this is nasty. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. All right, chicken girl. Oh, excuse me. Um, do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. Just tell me one thing. This case you say you're looking into is the Detective Jowds. Hmm. What if it was? I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... It's the night. Detective Jowd's... You know. It's the night. His execution. <gasps> but there's still time. She's slouched to hell? That's, like, literally how I'm sitting right now. No, for real. That's how I'm sitting right now. I looked into it, and I found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. <laughs> Fuck! And I've been eating chicken this whole time?! Stopping? Is there anything- isn't there anything we can do to stop it? Of course not. It's too late now. Wait, we have to go back and do the fucking- I'm sitting normally. I was just saying that to fucking exaggerate, okay? D d deal with it, okay? Look, see? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like... I'm- I'm sit- wait. I'm sitting here at the Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... I'm fine, dude. Like, chroma key. Turn off the chroma key. I don't need the chroma key. Okay? My God. Like, look, see? I'm, I'm sitting normally. See? Hi. Okay? I'm not actually slouching. Okay? Alright. Back, back to your business. camera? Because I can't see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... We're good. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. It was just catching up. Yahoo! Okay. <laughs> Okay. Is that a nasal strip? Yeah, I wear them when I run. Oh, that's valid. I'm sitting up completely straight. I don't know what you're talking about.
I'm sitting up straighter than a pupil in a Catholic school. He's sitting straighter than me. I'm sitting straighter than, like, many people's sexualities. <laughs> Got him. Zinger! <laughs> Woo! All right, back to business. Not without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. Ah, I'm gonna go see him then. What? See who? Who else? The Justice Minister. Oh, Duh. that's him. Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Say so. Me? Get to the prison! Stop that execution! Easy enough for you to say. Detective Ranger, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell them I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Incredible. Is there anything else I can do? Do you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you little Camilla? Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jowd. Who the fuck is Sissel? What the fuck was she talking about? The life of yet another person I'm connected to is somehow about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong, wrong one for her or the right one for... Fuck, I, the, the kerning on that is bad. I don't know. It's not kerning, but whatever. I've decided to go no, to the prison. No, it's the font choice. It's just the font choice. Font. Because... I, oh. Because like the way that the um the, letter, the lowercase letters are structured with like all those like fancy serifs, yeah, it doesn't help with readability at all. What what are you doing? I pressed the wrong button. Okay, cool. We're on chapter eight. I was pressing the button that on a Nintendo controller is A. Oh. I went to try and rescue prisoner D ninety nine. Even under ordinary circumstances, that prison has a strange atmosphere, but this time there's something even stranger about it. An execution. With my memory gone, I don't have a clear image of what that is in my head. But even I can sense the strong feelings of foreboding that hangs in the air. Maybe I'm too late? So, how's it going with the generator in the basement? They're trying to fix it now. It's gonna take a while, they said. They haven't even gotten to the internal phone there back up yet. I just hope the rowdies don't rush the guard room. Uh, we don't have any rowdies here. And what's more, the one who committed the most atrocious crime isn't even here anymore. You promise not to talk about that. What is he doing? Look, would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? I can't stand looking at it. If you don't stop, I just might have to pound you. Ayo. <laughs> this, this is a glorious dance that's been passed down in my family for generations. When you don't know what else to do, dance, dance, dance. We call it the panic dance. I got this. Is, yeah, go for it. This is, this is special detention calling from the death chamber. The internal phone is finally back up. It's pitch black down here, though, until I get the generator going again. How's it going up there? Phone's been ringing off the hook from headquarters. Oh, boy. We can't let the existence of this prison become known to the outside world. We'll have to round up the prisoners somehow. Is Bailey dancing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you should see him. <laughs> Take a video of it. We can all watch it together when we're done. Once the generator is back up, I'll record it with the security camera. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> a man's just straight up doing the fucking Macarena Huchikawa. Generator, still not up? I can't keep this up much longer. Believe me, nobody's asking you to. Why don't you just stop? Will you dance instead then? Me? You kidding me? Somebody has to do it. Hey, Loon. Hey, Loon. 
Is that somebody? It's me. I'll keep dancing until I drop. <laughs> <sighs> I want to learn the panic dance so bad. <laughs> Despite how it looks, the situation seems pretty serious. Bailey's dance is uh, certainly interesting, intriguing. But that telephone call that came in is even more interesting. The man said he was calling from the death chamber. Death chamber. Death chamber. Now that I have the extension number, I should go check it out. You ever play Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure Battle 2? Never actually have played that game. Me neither. Like, I, I mean, I, I beat the I'm first it's like level or two, but nothing since. I don't think I've ever properly touched the game, actually. So this is the death chamber, eh? What's going on? I can't see anything. Is this what they call darkness? Better do something about this situation. Sissel is so the cat. What do you mean? Is it, oh wait, um, is this me or like? I, I don't know. I'll take it. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll take this as the guy that called. Yeah. This is, not, this is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I feel like a ghost is gonna show up any minute now. Hey, come on, show some respect. There's a dead man here. That's right, me. Dead what? Whoa! I never saw that one coming, did you? Who could have? Anyway, the generator is going to be fixed soon, so I guess we hang tight. Hmm. I guess darkness doesn't really exist in the ghost world. Even without light, I can still see what's going on. Excuse me. I can use the ghost world to help me find that generator. Huh, let's lower the lever. Huh. Emergency light, power supply, wrench. I've seen these things before. Some kind of tool for turning things. It's leaning up against the wall. If I knock it over, I wonder if he'll notice. Darn, it's too heavy. It won't budge. Ah, oh, jeez. Where'd that wrench go? Without it, I can't take the last bolt on the generator. Sissel is a cat. I sure wish I could see in the dark like a cat. Sissel is the cat. This is my this is my theory. I told Travis about it last week. Sissel is the cat. It's the the joke is like that he can't read is too stupid not to be a plot point. Or like a ghost. Don't 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 play with me, Sissel. I know you're actually a cat in real life. What? Snake, snake clip it. What the fuck? Big guy seems to be taking a nap here. I doubt my paltry powers are enough to wake him. Rest in peace, curry lover. <laughs> it's kind of spooky when a ghost says it. Okay. Can't reach that. I can't knock over the wrench. This appears to be some kind of control panel. I might be able to operate it. Hmm, it doesn't be responding. It's too dark to really tell, though. Okay, so I need to do the wrench. He's looking for the wrench, but he can't find the wrench. The water drop. I can't reach anything else there. Okay, let me just, like, run over this way here for a moment. Okay, I can't reach that. Never mind. So, yeah, we need to act over here, and I can't use the wrench. I want to get to that bucket. How do I do that? Let's see what he does. Oh, wait. That's annoying. Okay. <laughs> uh. He didn't know, Chip. I think as soon as it starts forming, you can possess it. Okay, let's let's do this. Again. Yes. Let's open the toolbox. There we go. Oh, hey, there it is.
Man, this prison's sure violating some OSHA rules. <laughs> Do you think they care about OSHA where we are right now? You're right, they're in Japan. There are no OSHAs. It's like tricks and Baroque. I I know I said it last time, but it still it feels that way. Okay, let's let's hop on the grounding sphere. Do you know why they have grounding fear spheres, chat? Do you know what that means? Now the lights are back on. But what happened here? The answer's still shrouded in darkness. Better see if I can pick up some more information. Zoinks, who? Like zoinks! Alright, let's throw this this. Hey. Do you think this execution was really the right thing to do? What the heck are you saying? I mean, I know this country has the death penalty, but how many years has it been since we used this chair? Yeah, I don't know. It had quite a bit of dust and dirt on it. But I bet that's what ha that's what happened. All the, that debris damaged the wiring. That derbus. Well, Debris. Well, I can think it was divine retribution. Don't be stupid. The prisoner wanted to be executed, you know? What? 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 Inspector Jowd. I guess I was too late. So when so are they... When are they... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. So when are they gonna pick up his body? They'll be sending over a car from the public cemetery pretty soon. After we hand over the body and clean up the mortuary, we're done. Ah, okay. Ah, jeez. Well, this is no good. Look. So Detective Jowd has already been executed. Looks like there was a reason for that bad feeling I was getting. But that's okay. This isn't a big problem for me. But if the body is taken from that mortuary, that would be bad. I have to use my ghost tricks to save him before that happens. This chair scares me. I don't want to repair it or get anywhere near it. Who knows when it's gonna blow up again? Or let loose with the juice. What the fuck does that even mean, man? <laughs> Accidents happen all the time with anything, after all. Let's just get this thing fixed. Come on. I'm executed by an accident. I'm going to come back and haunt you. Haunt me? Why me? Sounds like a pretty dangerous chair. Hmm. I'm sure that can give shocks. Can I use that somehow? Oh, hey, another drop of water. <laughs> but I can't reach. I mean, there's a lever. What does this lever even do? What the hell? I guess I had misgivings. I sure had misgivings when I tried this lever. Nothing happened. Kind of disappointing, really. Maybe something else has to be done first. Right, now I have to use the power supply. Might be able to operate it. I'll give it a try. <laughs> Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Uh-oh. Some lamps came on. Not sure what that means. <laughs> Let's, uh, moiter... <laughs> Moida. This? Hmm. And I can't do anything with the grounding sphere? I don't think so, no. No, I cannot. Okay. Then let's, uh... Where's the mortar? There we go. Ah! ah, yeah, we're in there. I just, I just got a shock. Now I possess the wrench. Now I possess the bucket, which is now in the possession of the toolbox, which I shall open for no good reason other than to open it. I can't reach that. But I want to wait for the water droplets. Now I use the headpiece and I rock that. Son of a. Alright, cool. 
Now I got this bucket. Now I got the cart. Let's rock the cart. Oh, nope, that's not the button. And now we ride this over. Now we're in Jowd's room. Yay. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone, too. It doesn't call outside. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building I've already possessed. That's fine. I don't care. I'm going to talk to Jowd. Hey, can you hear me? Where am I? This is the ghost world, the land of the dead, Detective Jowd. Detective Jowd? Who is that? Is that me? Oh boy, not you too. This is getting old. Guess I'll just give the usual explanation. The dead lose their memories. Oh, so I'm dead, am I? I didn't realize that. That's why you can't remember anything right now. That's fine with me. Huh? I don't like a messy room, but I hate cleaning up even more. Not having my memories is a welcome thing. Now I don't have as much trash to take out. Memories are like trash? Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn? Hmm. Looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. Oh! Oh! I remember now. About Lin, Chowd, and the execution. Oh, this music goes hard. I know, right? <laughs> and what about you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Sissel. I'm looking for my memory. Or trash, as you call it. Sissel? I've heard the DS version of this theme quite a bit. It goes hard. Yeah. Does my name ring a bell? I think you know me. Sorry, it must not have been a very big piece of trash to me. That's all right. I guess you'll find out when you get your memory back. But for now, I'd like you to come back with me. Back to four minutes before your execution. Wait, what? <laughs> yep, that's right, you're gonna die again. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> This is the past, four minutes before my death. That's right. You'll get to see your own execution. And then we're going to change your fate. Why would you make me watch this, man? <laughs> but first, can I ask you a question? Lynn told you, didn't she? About what I did? Yeah, she did. Then is it really the right thing to do to save a guy like me? I don't know. But Lynn believes it is. Hmm. Okay, let's get started. Wow, wow, wow. Chicken wow. enjoyer eats chicken with Cert a knife. Certified chicken enjoyer. Hey, chat, are you a certified chicken enjoyer? If so, say, I am a certified chicken enjoyer in the chat. It's clogged! Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Sir, you're gonna break that toilet. Why'd they let him keep his shoes, is my question. Uh, I don't know. Is that a big can of tomatoes? Yeah. What did he see in the trash? Too much. He's the guy who flushes his trash? Never mind, he's not worth saving. Cancelled. For sure. He ain't worth it. Why did they all walk like that? Because they're all Baileys. Uh, uh, so the time's finally left. here, huh? Yeah, you take left, I take it right. Yep. Yeah, I wonder how many years it's been. The last time, you weren't even here yet. I never thought I'd have to attend an execution. But you know, I wonder why the justice minister suddenly signed the order. There's definitely something up with that. Hey, come on, let's just focus on our work. Yeah, all right. Uh, 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 uh. 
Wait, what? What are they? Uh, why are they at an angle? They're downstairs. Prisoner D99. It's time. L let's go. All right, men. I'm ready. Sorry you have to go through this unpleasant experience. Oh, uh, what? No, we, uh... Oh, well. Guess it's okay. I guess it's all about collecting experiences. For you and for me. If you knew you had a way to, like, come back from death, would you want to experience death? As long as the way to come back wasn't horribly traumatic, much like death? Yeah, sure. Well, death is inherently traumatic. Exactly. I don't know if I'd want that. We just explode. <laughs> really? We just explode. <laughs> so this is an execution, huh? Seems to me there's got to be a safer way to do it. <laughs> it must be nice to have no memory like that. It makes things more interesting. I envy you. I really do. It's no laughing matter to me. Hey, M.M. Trebuchet. M.M. Trebuchet, good to see you. This, that was an example of a failed execution. Although the outcome was the same. And you really call it a failed execution if you still died? <laughs> they haven't carried out an execution in a long time. They dragged that old chair out from under some mothballs, and I guess I had to short. Yeah, it'd be really silly if the U.S. failed their executions. We're not wow. going to talk about what went down in Alabama beyond Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, don't, don't talk to me. Yeah. So I guess that means that if I can stop the explosion... Hmm. I don't know about that. Then I'd just be executed as planned, and I'd still wind up just as dead. So what should I do? Beats me. You're the one who came to save me. You figure it out. He's not making this easy. I'm not trying to make it easy for you. Yeah, I know. You're like the, the midway boss of the game. I get it. <laughs> Why do I hear boss music? Okay. All right, then. Four minutes from now, this chair will short out and explode and you'll die. Very sad. If I stop the explosion, you'll be executed and you'll still die. Sorry I was ever born. I have to protect you from the explosion and stop the execution. The key to the whole thing must be this chair. I apologize for all your trouble. Uh, could you stop with the insincere comments? <laughs> okay, so we got the flower vase. How's it going down there? I got this one. We just finished setting up the chair. We're all prepared. I see. It's time. Please bring in the prisoner. The button chair! It hasn't been used in a long time. What, what if... Bailey, there's nothing we can do now. It's time. Uh, Alright, I'll send the guards to his cell. I'll have them call when they get in the position. Let's go there. Gar there. Let's gar there. Let's gar there. Uh, I have this strange feeling of uneasiness. How about you? How do you feel? <sighs> I feel jumpy and jittery. Can't sit still. I feel like I might start dancing at any minute. If you're gonna dance, let me know. I'll get the video camera ready. Oh, we will listen to my concerns. Concerns, huh? So he's worried. That man is always worried about something. And whatever he's worried about, it always comes true, without fail. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Kind of impressive, actually. It's no use, I can't use the phone lines right now. Right now? I can only move over the phone lines in the past when it's in use. Sadly, this applies to the internal extensions as well. I see. Looks like life is tough for everyone. Even you. You too. Listen to me. That chair is dangerous. I know, Bailey. That's why I don't advise you to sit on it. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. Machines like that are very sensitive to dust. If the guys throw the switch and the chair shorts out, 
There might be a huge explosion down there in that deck chamber. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Besides, even on the off chance it does blow up, we're way up here. And they're down there, and he's the sheriff. We'll be fine. But if he's in there, and then we're out here... I know! Why don't we go and test it out first? What I want to know is, where's the caveman? <laughs> what I want to know is, where's Jowd? <laughs> no way. I don't want to get blown up. You go by yourself. This spot would be safe even if it does blow up, eh? What is it? You have a new look in your eye. If the switch is in the chamber, they gonna blow up. That's right. And if the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. Rooms, bestie. <laughs> and if there's nobody in the death chamber when the chair explodes, nobody will die. Precisely. Very nice, Sissel. You've hit upon some excellent points there. Okay, I'm starting to see a plan now. But I'm still stuck. Getting the chair to short out when nobody's around it sounds like it could be a plan, but in this past world, I can't use the phone lines whenever I want. And these guards seem to be in a fog. I doubt they'll be using the phone much. Oh no, maybe I need to start over. Oh, I guess I gotta rewind the clock again. Guess I gotta go back to the beginning again. Thank you for the Officer Shaggy clip. Thanks Snake. for the clip. Alright. Okay. Yep, okay. And so... Nice try, officer. Nice try, officer. Too bad you move. fell for my one trick. I can't read. Hmm. Now what's that? Ooh, woo, what's this? I'm in position. The other two are coming to bring the prisoner to you now. Got it. Hmm. Let's go there. Let's see what happens. Option two. What's behind door number two, huh? A prison cell. A prison cell. Prison cell. Let's open up the note. All right, my jam grooved out, grooved out the clock. Now get down there to sausage in. Go, go, go! No, I guess I better rewind from the beginning. Not again. <laughs> Not again. The way he just gets vacuumed out is yeah, so scary to me. He just gets... I mean, honestly, like, I'm a generally afraid of those kinds of things where, like, you know, if you go through, like, those sewer things that are, like narrow spaces it's not that i'm claustrophobic but like it's claustrophobia mm. with the knowledge that i'm not going to be able to get back out without external yeah. shit yeah in the present world four minutes into the future sausage head was lying passed out in the tunnel not knowing about the execution he must have kept digging and digging and the guards didn't notice he was gone so i guess curry man's future there's no change to it. Amigara Fault really got you? Yeah, it sure did. I'm now afraid to play DDR. Huh? Have you read the Enigma of the Amigara Fault, Travis? No. It's a, a horror manga by Junji Ito. Oh, I see. It's, it's worth a read. Like, it's a canonical, scary thing on the internet. You know what I mean? It's no use. I can't read. Yeah, the Enigma of the Amigara Fault. Like, read it at your own risk and do not read it at night. Sissel. I'm sure you know this, but time is ticking. Almost time for the execution. If you don't execute a plan pretty soon, it's going to get tough. I think I do have a plan. Do you? I'm looking forward to seeing it. Only problem is, I don't see a path to get there yet. I'm really sorry about all this trouble you're going to for me. Funny, you don't look the least bit sorry. Mm. 
And then I, I want to fuck around for something. How do I get to that? I get the feeling I'm going to be able to reach it from this light somehow. Still can't reach that. Okay. Spoon. We are in the spoon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we are we are at Jowd. We have reached the Jowd Meister. Okay, let's open that. Oh, you sure can pack it away. The detective should eat until he reaches that critical moment. That's what I always say. Is that where Lynn gets it from? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do now, Sissel? As long as these iron bars are here, escape is impossible. Is it possible to stop the execution from here? Probably not. I'm looking for a path now. Maybe something here will give me an idea. Alright, I have the newspaper article, I have the toilet picture frame. Let's open the picture frame. Okay. Now I'm too far away from anything. The napkin is on Jowd, so I'm gonna stick, stay on the napkin. I think that's the plan. Hang on, I'm gonna open the waste basket again. Wait. Oh no, come on. I gotta figure out what the fuck is this. Come on. No. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. What is in there? Okay, napkin. This thing is as full as I am. Okay, cool. He's flushing his shit down the toilet. He's flushing his trash once again. Wait, no! No! I shouldn't have been on the napkin! On the spoon. I am definitely in the wrong spot. Unless that means that, like, he's gonna... Oh, fuck. Nope. I think I fucked up. Is it time to restart? I think it is, but I'm gonna see, because there's, like, no good reason why, um, yeah, because I even, like, blocked myself off here, you know? Mm hmm. Hmm, it's not working right now. Maybe if I can quiet during an execution? This guy's a little bit too detached. While I was alive, people thought I was a bit too passionate about things. Okay, well... Let's go back into this cell and see what's the deal. I think I fucked up, but I'm gonna let it play out so that I can see. Hmm. I guess Sausage isn't going back into his tunnel. Of course not. He only goes when he sees a piece of paper with an O. Right, I get it. Alright, let's go back to after the fate change. Because we at least have that. Okay. So, let's ring the bell. We'll get the sp him with his spoon. And then we'll go into Jowd's place. And somehow we're gonna... I think what I have to do is I have to make the can with the tomato make a red O on the fucking napkin. He's gonna flush it down. This guy's gonna see it. 
and then he's gonna go start digging and I'm gonna have to be on the spoon in that time. And once he does that, then I have a path down. Mm -hmm. Dad, do we like that idea? Is that a good idea? I think that's what it is. Cause like, look, there's a can. Why else is that can there? I swear, this game yep. is just like... Okay, yep, yep, okay. We gotta start swear, over. This game is just like 20 billion Chekhov's guns, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a Rube Goldberg device-like thing. A contraption of sorts. This game you're is awful complicated, I tell ya. Yeah. You're telling me, M.M. Trebuchet. Travis has beaten this game twice! Uh, actually just once. I've got- I've played it twice, but like I've only finished it the one time. And that was on iOS. You played it on iOS? Yeah. ios -ka? Back- Huh? Like that one drogue? Have you ever- would you ever try ayahuasca? I'd be curious to try it, actually. The, like, it's just crazy to me, the amount of, like, wild stuff that, like, people ex make up about say, it? say about it. They're like, I have this thing, and it's it's so big, bad, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just nuts to me. I don't think I would ever try it, but it's like... I'm, I'd be curious to, but I would also be very hesitant. Yeah. What in the Rube like, Goldberg is happening here? Yeah. Like, if I had a safe environment to do it in, with, like, no threat to my life whatsoever outside of, like, any bodily reaction I might have... Yeah. I I would try it. Absolutely. Genuinely, I would try it. I think that's fair. But, like, the conditions need to be met. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get that. Like, I've never particularly... Well, I have been against hard drugs in my life before, but now that I'm older and more experienced... I understand that, like, drugs aren't necessarily a bad thing. It is the excess usage of drugs that are a bad thing. Yeah. And the criminalization of said drug usage is a very big problem in this country. And that's the other thing, too, is, like, when you consider the impact of certain drugs on certain people versus, like, the state-sponsored drugs that are taxed and fund the economy, like, you know, it's mm -hmm. is it any wonder that some are criminalized and some are not, and those that are not are widely advertised? Exactly. Because some of those drugs are har are as harmful, if not like more harmful than yeah. some of the like. Yeah, like I straight up just. Drugs. I rarely drink alcohol ever anymore. Uh huh, and it's so normalized. Yeah. Like, getting drunk is like a very normal thing that people do in this country. Yeah. Which I don't really get because like I'm not a big alcohol fan. Like I'll drink. Like don't get me wrong, I'll drink, but like. I'm not like going to happy hours with the expectation that like. I go to waste. happy hours for food. I don't yeah. go to happy hours for drinks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, Travis, read the line. Oh, sorry. Sausage Head sure looks happy. So now that he's seen the O paper, he'll go down to dig the tunnel. The tunnel to dig. Maybe this is the chance I've been waiting for. This is my moment. This is my moment. Indeed, I am five drink nights on a week and I have a glass of chartreuse. That does sound like, look, if that's your thing, like, don't let me stop you. But for me, like, yeah. I'm not going to be doing that on a week. Here come my escorts. Uh-oh. I haven't found my path yet. I see mine quite clearly. <laughs> Straight to hell. <laughs> the path to the share that is. What do I do? Tra Sissel, don't freak out. Are you about to yell at me? <laughs> yes. Her bluey. Hamster hooey and the gooey kerblooey. What just happened? The power's down throughout the whole facility. No way. If the power's down, that means all the cell bars open automatically. Damn it. The internal phones aren't working either. State of emergency. Now the execution can't be carried out and your life is saved. Do people, like, I've read things about, like, this one of Jowd's tricks things has been, like, a pain in the ass. Was this that one? 
of altars, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah? It wasn't. Okay, that's not bad then. This wasn't so bad. You're a pretty daring guy. I really enjoyed myself, and I think I learned a thing or two as well. About what? By the way, is it what is it true what the guards said? The cell bars open automatically? Yep, it's true. It's a little drawback to the system. If the entire facility blacks out, the locks are released for the prisoner's safety. But nobody thought it would ever actually ever happen. So in other words, now's the time to escape if you're gonna. Anyway, we managed to stop the execution. Let's get back to the present. You're still not out of the woods yet. Oh, let me give you one piece of advice. What's that? When we get back to the present, head for the spoon. Spoon? Huh? You'll see when we get back, Cecil. Now the execution can't be carried out and Detective Jowd is safe for the moment. A new present has been born, however. Jowd still isn't out, isn't safe from execution, of course. I guess I still have a job to do. Help a death row inmate escape from prison. Jowd taken by fate. Bless you. Thank you. Chapter nine. Chapter nine. Now I'm back in the present and it's completely shrouded in darkness. Oh, this is the chapter everyone hates, isn't it? I can't- Welcome to the gatekeeping chapter. <laughs> I can't see it, but I can feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With the power of failure of all the cell bars opened up automatically. Plus now a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. I did what I promised Lynn. I stopped the execution. That condemned criminal is now just in as much danger as before. Yeah, I've heard that the darkness chapter sucks dick. Okay, I'm at the spoon. The detective told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present, so here I am. Go. The bell better go back. It really just feels like sped up footage of someone doing something very normal, but it just looks so comical. Yeah. Whew, I'm back. Thank goodness someone flushed his toilet. It was good timing. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. First I have to find him. Oh, shit. It's prisoner C-74! Secure the prisoner! I lose it when the animations get faster. It's so funny. Hmm. Looks like there are hunters in this darkness. I hope they haven't found Detective Jowd. Okay. Well, let's first uh, explore his room, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, what's that red light? It's the dudes. Hmm, looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a big pink circle. He's the Jorb. Jorb. Doesn't look like escape is going to be easy. Okay. But I can fuck with his bulletproof vest. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Jowd. Ah, there you are. I was wondering what I was going to do. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right. I still have another napkin lying around. I'm convinced they remastered every sprite in this game, except for Jowd's. What do you mean? It looks fine. Thanks to that, I bet I'm, I managed to make it here. But do you, did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. 
I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head's spoon in my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. Alright. Well, let's make sure we're both clear. The key to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement's power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under the cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine. But how? The dead don't have voices. Even if they did, we have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Thanks Let's for the clip, Snake. Try it. Let's just try it and you'll see how it works. This detective just likes to dive right into things, even more than Lynn does. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? He says cheerfully. I can immediately see how everyone and why everyone hates this. Oh, you, oh, you'll see. I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here, except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something out about it being a special place. Yes, and because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards at most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? They're special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guards' line of sight, eh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Okay. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do it? I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You what? For example, you're in the guard's bulletproof vest right now, aren't you? Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. I think it's more like a detective's sense. Uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. Anyway, the details don't matter. Do you see this ribbon here? Oh no. Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. Oh, that work. If you press R, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. So for example. If you move to that spoon and press ribbon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? All right, fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, welcome to the worst escort mission I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, okay. Actually, hang on. So that red light that's the light of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. Travis, have you played Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga? I have, yes. Okay, uh, so you've and I know done, you're talking about the, the you've desert done the escort mission. Tihi Valley. Yes. yes, I've done Tihi Valley. And yeah, that was a pretty bad escort mission. But at least I could do something. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. There he is! Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. If he enters the guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. Okay, yeah. For now, how about just aiming for the neighboring cell? We, can, we can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow. Imagine if there was a time limit on this, though. That would <laughs> suck. Superstar Saga was incredibly good, I will say. I like Superstar Saga. I never finished it. It's a very good game. It was, I would, it was very good. I would recommend trying to finish it. It's not too bad, honestly. Yeah, I think I got to Cac final Cacletta, and then I just gave up. 
I don't blame you. I was on my I was playing it on the 3DS with the remake. Cause I emulated it initially on my Game Boy Advance emulator, but um the file was corrupted and it wouldn't let me finish the game. Oh, that's a pain. Yeah, I know, right? Same with a uh, Minish Cap, actually. Oh, that sucks. Minish Cap's I know. fun. Minish Cap's a good time. Minish Cap just has some like I have some general qualms about Minish Cap where I'm like there are just a few choices about the world that just feel weird. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Yes. I'm working on it. Okay. Let me figure this out. So, the, the gist of it is, I have to wait for this guy to at least turn around. We're trying to get our guy Jowd into the neighboring cell, so maybe I'll try going around a different way. I can't use any electronics. I can't use the phone. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to go this way then, because there's nothing in here. Okay. Let's see. Mm. All right, well, let's close this. You have to do the thing to do the thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Man. I appreciate it. really appreciate it. Yep. Okay, so we'll bring him to the bunk there. And he's going to get seen no matter what. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, awesome. Next I up. I don't even know how you got away with that, to be quite honest with you. I'm a god. I, I know. I know. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to Jout again. Good. This is a safe spot. You did well, Sissel. But unfortunately, there aren't any more bunks. I guess you'll have to find another safe spot then. And could you do it as quickly as possible? This position is killing my back. This could be difficult. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> next. I'm simply posted up as the Jorb right now, Sissel, please. <laughs> I'm I'm Jorbing out. Jorbin time. <laughs> the guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. Yes, I know. I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, with it, you can move the screen with... With Jesus. Okay. So, let's... Let's see here. Oh, we got our guy here as well. We got a sniper posted up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the hatch mechanisms. The guy Eat falls. Eat shit, motherfucker. <laughs> and then... Okay, so if the guy falls, when they're falling, if I time the fall so that Jowd could somehow get maybe... Now I can't reach that, though. Okay, what else do I have? I've got wastebasket. i got valve. This really feels like all those missions in video games where they just make everything go dark and you have none of your weapons or anything. Yeah. Okay. And you were so, just tr and you were fighting for your life out here. Am I stuck? No, you're not stuck. No, I'm not stuck. What if I ring this? Let's just see what they do. This is a game of waiting, and I don't like it. <laughs> you zoomer. Okay, so... What the fuck? You're younger than me! <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, that allows... I'm still entitled to do that. Okay. So, what he, he this guy does... Okay, so he goes up. Is our sniper in position again? No, our sniper is now in a different spot. So if I open this, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh? Oh, you 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 missed the timing by that much. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what our other guys do. Because I just don't know where a good safe spot is at this point. 
But I do know that I can no longer reach Jowd. That guy is just hanging out there, so that's good. Our next guy, is he the sniper? I'm gonna close this hatch. Okay, so this guy is hanging out on the stairs. It looks like I could maybe reach over there if I'm fast enough. Ah, my favorite game, Dots and Lines. Okay, so I need to hang on to this guy, and it's gonna Hi, send me over here further. Hey, Luke, how are you? Okay. I think that's what I want to do. Yep, so we're going to try and get over to here. Because that's the next safe spot, is behind these stairs. Okay, we are there. Yep. Okay, so now... I don't do it yet, though, because he's about to turn around. Yep. I'm smart. Now we wait. Yep. We just wait until he's going up the stairs at this point. Because the other guy, he is not close. So we are good. Currently dying of nice YouTube comments. Aww. Hell yeah. Your YouTube yeah. video essay. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Jorb is here. Luke, your video essay is on my uh, to-watch list coming up here. Yo, wait, drop the link, though. Yeah, put it in self-promo. I think Luke put it in my server, but definitely put it in, like, another server. Okay. 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 Yeah, Luke, plug your shit in my server, too. There we Your go. Full permission, dude. Okay, now he's falling. I'm going to put this valve... I Ooh, where do I send you to, though? I think I send you here. Okay, now I close this, and then I do... I think the game's gonna tell me when I find the next safe spot, actually. Yeah, I think the game's gonna have to tell me, because like, if it told me the first time and the second time, it's gonna tell me more than the times after that, too. That's kind of my thought process here. Very bold of Shu Takumi to make a game about waiting. Uh huh. A, a true masterclass of patience, one might say. Yeah. Nothing says high octane gaming action quite like this. Does he go further? He does. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's the next spot, is underneath this cot. Underneath the bunk. Okay, now... Now I gotta play the game. He's doing it, chat. He's playing the game. Okay, so this guy's gonna go back. But I can't trap him. They're both coming toward Jowd now. When they turn around, is there a spot where neither of them are looking? Okay, we're going. Fuck, really? R uh. Okay, fine. Yeah, no, there's there's a limit to the distance you can call Jad. Okay, let's bring him back then. Where's the next spot then? 
it's probably right beneath these floorboards here. Like, if I had to guess, it's like right here. Mm -hmm. I think what I do is I open this hatch mechanism so that he falls through and then Jowd runs up. When he's standing right there, that's when I make Jowd run. Because I'm going to open the hatch, move over to the valve either on the left or the right. Probably the one on the left. And then I'm going to, as he's falling, I'm calling Jowd up. When they're both facing toward, both guards are facing toward the left. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. I have no idea what's going on. Hey, brother. Hey, Tim. Hey, brother. Okay. Hey, brother. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is he's going to stand right on the hatch, right? So now I open the hatch. And then I go right here, right? Like I go right to this... Ooh, do I close the valve? Do I close the hatch before he gets up there is the question. I don't know. Why don't Can I even out? do that? I don't know, because like I'm pretty sure the action locks you into the animation. Yeah, that's, you know what what that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Try again. I can't just see the friend of break I need. I don't just have to make one. Try it, try it another way. They even try calling me to all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable. I can go pretty much anywhere. Except when I'm too far away. Does it start me all the way over? Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to say, if that starts me all the way over, I may, like, actually understand why this is a filter. This is easily the most gatekeepy. Uh, part of the story, I think, out of everything this game has to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Like, no exaggeration, this is what keeps a lot of people from finishing this game. I don't blame them. This is, like, really... You have to have a lot of patience. Yeah. Can't close this right now. Someone's fall Somebody's falling through it. Come on, Sissel. You don't want to commit a little murder? <laughs> you don't want to commit a little... crime. Okay, so, can I get to this valve? I don't think I can, but I'll try. Mm -hmm. What, you want me to climb up into the ceiling? I think I can manage that. But as things stand, I don't have access right now. Could you open that okay. hatch and create an entry point for me? Yeah, okay, that is what I was thinking. Okay, never mind. I got it then. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to put him into one of the valves. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Wow! I want to be here. And now I just wait for the timing both to be them. right. Yeah, both of them to go up. Can I get it from here? I don't think I can. Try it? No, he's going to get spotted. Now. D Jowd! <laughs> Zoinks. <laughs> Jowd, you ran right in front of the dude. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here oh, we go. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Part of it, too, is just, like, the waiting, you know? I'm a zoomer. I'm impatient. Wah, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. This specific sequence, the one that you're at right now, is, I think, what stops people a lot. I don't blame them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, and then I'm going to have Zhao go to this valve. And then I want to send him here. And then I'm going to open it again and send him over that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing.
I think I'm going to try this valve. And then when both are facing the different directions, Jowd is going to jump into the ceiling. Okay, next. Okay, we are going to close this mechanism. Good. Wow, you saved that man from falling again. <laughs> Jorb. Okay. Cool. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the floor and then he's going to go around. I bet you didn't think I could get up in here, did you? I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Anyway, this is a safe spot. It's not much further now. <sighs> Come on now, don't worry, we're almost there. Now we have the choice to either try, of either trying to sneak out or making a dash for it. I'll leave the route up to you. Jorb is the only redeeming quality of the scene. It's okay. true. He does look very funny. <laughs> so here's where I'm at. I feel like we could open the floor and then have Jowd go over this way. Because I don't see what else I can do. But can you reach the other side, though? I cannot. Yeah, that's, uh... Well, let's... That's pretty, that's pretty important, huh? Uh, maybe just a little. Unless you carry yourself, like, with this bulletproof vest over here. Yeah. Ah! I see what I can do. What if I sent Jowd over here? The Jorb. <laughs> I love that he his rotation is the exact length. It's very impressive. Okay, so bunk. Patch mechanism. This guy doesn't move. Okay. So if this guy's not moving, that does make it tricky. That and this is tricky even. Yeah, and this is where I started, so that doesn't make sense for me to go back down. Mm -hmm. Let's go up this way and see what this guy's doing. Okay, what happens if I open the hatch? Okay, yep, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now I just need to verify. Go, 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 go. He's so ripped. If I move now, I'm going yes, to fall. I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I'm just... Now go. Go here, go here, go here, go here, here, come on. So what do you think? I'd say if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Sizzle. Oh, nice job. You did it. Hooray! The basement generator has been prepared. Restoring power to all areas. That wasn't too bad. It's just like patience. I can definitely understand like why people hate that part though. <laughs> <laughs> We just made it. But the question is, what now? I don't have anywhere to go, do I? I think I'll go back to my cell. You'd better be kidding! But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escaped death row convict is just is supposed to just report it into the justice minister. Is that it? Hmm. I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. All right, Sissel. Until we meet again. Like Still I can around. Damn, I only fucked up like twice on that. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. So now I've saved a condemned criminal's life and helped him escape. Is that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lin at this point. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. 
I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. It also took me so much longer, Snake, I know. Trick time! That shit was hard. Yeah, it's definitely like patience trying for sure. Like as a as a younger child trying to figure out how to do that, yeah, that shit was hard. Oh, totally. Mortuary, god room. But Detective Jowd's until we meet again came around quicker than I expected. When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. He's still dancing. Hello, this is... Sissel, are you there? Hello? Who's this? Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Sissel, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you make it in time, that is. Hey, wait a minute! Trace complete! KMR3243 Oh wait, no, I wanna read the I wanna read the thing. The funny lines. The call! Who's it from? I don't know. Some weird call. Uh, but who? We'll call an end of my dancing! Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not going to stop you. It's a contest, then. Which will stop first, my dancing or the turning of the planet? <laughs> the earth grinds to a halt. Yeah, good luck with that. All right. Let's take the external line and go to the chicken kitchen. Yay! There's gotta be like one room that just has really random dialogue halfway through the game. Mm hmm. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Oh! That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Never expected to see you here, Inspector Capanella. I believe that's my line, old friend. What are you doing here? I believe that's my line too, clearly. I came to... attend your execution. They told me what time it was. I couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. Moment of silence here. When I looked up, my eyes were full of tears. There you were, baby! It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me who found you here. Because now that I've found you, man, I've turned you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean after all. Ah, I get it, because he's got spots on him from the paint, and cabanella has got a clean white friggin' thing. How, how fitting. There's a certain something between these two. <laughs> is it warm something, or is it cold? Whatever it is, it's immeasurably deep. Should probably see what Detective Jowd has to say. So true. They're gay. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? That is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. Mm. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right. Your lost memory. You know the things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? In return for tonight's fun little game, is that it? I saw it, you know. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight? That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but... I can't talk to you about that now. Wh what? Why not? Because I... 
I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lynn something to hold on to for me. It was a music box. <laughs> if you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment. And that's the only help I can give you right now. That man pointing the gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. We were, when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elite. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? Somebody looking to get promoted to the top. What's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Ah, spell out the metaphor, why don't ya? Who would promote a man with the coat covered in stains? Ah, huh? look at that! Look, I, I fucking called it out literally five minutes before the game explained it to me. If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. Sissel, you're wearing a red coat. Dumbass. <laughs> The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Yeah, everybody has those days. Nevertheless, Cavanella has chosen the path of the white coat. Oh, but he's nerfed. And he didn't do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like send his good friend to the gallows? Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed at me right now. Is your execution really the th right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But still... This is the punishment that I should receive. In order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. <sighs> Lynn believes you're innocent. She's running around right now to prove it. Trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there? I... I was sentenced to the death penalty for, for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. Th what?! It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day, I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago, the life of a little girl. Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just calm down, and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Ten years ago in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jout, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. My hand was shaking a little. If my hand slipped, the man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... 
execution. Ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. Oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friend. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Sizzle, you've got your own path to follow. You'd better hurry. My own path? Lynn is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Hello? Everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um... The chicken kitchen is next door! Goodbye! Hmm. It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Sissel? Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? <laughs> oh, before I forget... I have a little something for you. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. There's nothing else like it. Don't throw it. Jesus. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good at choosing presents. This is it, Cecil. Let me just leave you with one thing. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. His little walk. I love that so much. They're <laughs> gone. There's nothing left here. No hope. And no cores either. Well, then I guess we better go somewhere. Then I, of course, I can't follow them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I better go. Lynn! I'll follow the path Detective Jowd pointed out to me. The path to justice. The justice minister's office where Lynn went to start. I've to Kirkabaugh. Oh, that's right. Lynn Yay, we beat chapter nine. Wahoo. Wahoo! Yippee! Hey, let's uh Oh wait, I didn't want to press that. Did you wanna did you wanna end here? Oh dude, I'm so tired. Yeah, we should probably I'm so that. tired, mate. I gotta yes. go to bed. I'm like go to bed, get some rest. I gotta go get some rest in my bed because because I'm really tired. I'm sorry, everyone, but thank you for so long. Thank you for tuning in. Um, um let's see who's streaming tonight. <gasps> Ryusuke, Ryusuke VA. We're gonna send you all there. Hell yeah, he's playing Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Another shoe Takami game. I also agree. This is a very good stopping point. Yeah, this is a great stopping point. All right, we're gonna send you all to Ryusuke. What should the raid message be? Uh, I'm at the combination chicken kitchen first. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got it. Uh, this is a safe spot, Sissel. <laughs> I had better just Jorb. Jorb. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Jorb. That's, Jorb. that's more fun anyway. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you Thursday for Pseudo Regalia. Until then, ta-ta.
Take care, everyone. Good night.